Hello guys, welcome to react to the software testing tips and tricks channel. If you are new to this channel, go through all the videos and if you like this channel, please subscribe and share it to your QA friends. So in this video today we will discuss about how to generate puppet ear code automatically. So you don't have to write all the code, you just need to record the session and it will generate the code automatically based on that. Uh, again, uh, you need deep knowledge of Puppeteer to understand the code, but you do not have to write the all the code manually, so it will fasten your process and it will be help, very helpful. So watch this video till the end and let's start. So recently I came across the plugin called Headless Recorder, which is uh, available in Chrome Store. I don't know if it is available in other browsers as well, but here it is available and uh, you need to install this uh, this one and uh, uh, as it said a chrome extension for recording browser interaction and generating puppeteer and playwright scripts so it will automatically generate the puppeteer as well as playwright script whatever script you want so i am going to demo this directly so it has listed down all the features and how to use it and uh, everything so you just uh, let's start using this so here I have already installed and pinned on my uh, browser, so I just need to start. So it is start recording. Now you go to new tab, enter google.com. So here like it is identifying the I'll write software testing tips and tricks. So it is uh, giving me all the results. But it is not giving our channel so you need to subscribe for more here we are getting so you are clicking on this and now you can stop so it is generated playwright script as well as puppeteer script so you can uh, here copy to clipboard you can directly copy this and uh, in your uh, vs code or whatever plugins you are uh, using editor you are using you can put in this so we had this uh, mocha test framework we have created So this way it is generating the code. You can directly use this code. So it has this puppet here. We are navigated to Google and uh, it is weighted for this. Because of Google have this kind of divs and uh, class names, it is showing like this. But again, you may need to correct those because uh, it is static one. So you need to put dynamic. But it will like, like what you have clicked, you have weight, again click navigation promises so everything it will be taken care and then when you close it will close the browser so it has this so you can put this like in your and you can start trying running this but directly most probably is like for a new website or no standard website directly it may want not work so you have to based on your knowledge on puppeteer or how you write in your framework you need to edit the codes so you can edit those codes and uh, make uh, xpath and uh, doms correctly and uh, then start using it. So this is pretty straightforward. You just need to install a, a plugin, uh, record the session and stop. When you stop, you get this uh, code and you just have to copy the code and paste in your uh, uh, editor. So that's it. So this was a short video. Hope you like this video. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe this channel and share it. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe in social media. I have put the link in the description. Thank you.